All right, gearheads, thought I'd give you all a quick update video. I've got the uh, truck running good now. I'm just gonna go over uh, things I've been doing the past two weeks, working hard, and uh, what I've got coming up that I need to do and will be uh, installing on the truck. Right now, we got the headlight bezels in there, finally. The grill's more secured. Uh, it is dirty. I haven't had a chance to wash it. Been real busy. One thing on the list for sure is to remove the goo from the old uh, badges that were on there. Um, I got the exhaust put on. The tips. Uh, I ran two and a quarter all the way back. The bed's dirty. I've been using it actually. Working. Took a, a load of scrap metal to the scrap yard. But I got the tie downs installed. Mounted down. All the corners. Still need a rear bumper. Um, what else? Oh, the windows. When I had it uh, last time I showed it, the windows wouldn't go down. Uh, it turned out that the other door panel over there must have been in a rush being put on because they didn't plug in the locks or the window switch. So all I did was plug it in. I got windows now. I can roll them down. Uh, drivability. It wasn't driving very good at first because the um, fuel pressure regulator was weak. It drove like crap for about a week for me. At least a week it was. And then um, we got that fixed. We're running good. We also got a transmission put in there so I got all four speeds now. Uh, gearing in the rear end must be real low though because I rarely ever use overdrive. Mainly just third gear. Uh, so it is a one wheel wonder. So I got to work on the rear end as well sometime in the future after I get the front end right. Right now the truck's running good and dependable, just wearing out the front tires from the alignment, from uh, the way they lowered it by heating the springs. In a minute I'll show you uh, all I have to go over the uh, front suspension. All right, I figured I'd go ahead and crank it up for you, show you how it's running, how it's starting. Uh, one is I did get the uh, check engine light working. That's a good thing. All the gauges are working pretty well. Uh, tanks are switching. Got the new fuel tank selector switch in there. Here we go. Cranks up, runs well. Uh, got the ashtray modded out to be a coin holder now, rubberized. I like that much better than having a, a nasty ashtray in there. Yeah, she's dirty. I need to clean it up. Let's see if we can get a sample of the exhaust. rip it up for you. It's together. Uh, I still need to get the AC and heater in there and wiper. Don't have a wiper motor yet. I just got a Rainix on the window. Uh, when I got it started at first, we had an exhaust leak coming up in between the pipes on the header down there. I got that welded up, and while I did that, I also put some high temp paint on the header. Uh, the paint that was on it before was just regular paint, and it burned off as soon as I as soon as I ran it, kind of like this over here. So I need to do the same on this side. Get some paint on that header there. I'll probably remove it and paint it the same way. You notice I don't have a radiator fan yet. Uh, it's been cold enough out here lately though to, to run without one. But soon the heat is coming so I'm going to need a fan on there pretty quickly. And that is why I have a set of LS1 fans here. I just made some, need to make some mounts. Get those mounted on that radiator. Tell y'all a little bit more about these uh <laughs> these tie down hooks. I love these things so much. Something so simple. I think it's three dollars for a pack of two. Something so simple makes a big difference though. If you actually use your truck to uh, secure things to carry a load, you'll notice uh, anytime you try to tie anything down without these hooks, you got maybe these loops here, but there's no lip on them. 
hooks won't hold in there. So uh, your ropes won't stay. There's nowhere to tie down. It's a pain in the ass. It'll stress you out. You ever try driving with a load in the back of your truck without being able to tie it down well, that'll stress you out. So you get these tie downs in here. <laughs> it's too easy to secure your stuff now. Not only that, I secure my dog back here too. I'll be able to just quickly uh, latch them to one of these and set them still. All right, now uh, to show you what I'm trying to work on this weekend and next weekend, we've got the control arms. They've been sandblasted, cleaned up, ready for paint, bushings, and ball joints. So what I'm doing now is getting ready to install the ball joints and the bushings. Once I do that, I'll go ahead and paint them. I'm going to paint them a base uh, with a gloss black and then splatter some silver over them or mist silver over them. Get done with that. We have the uh, two inch drop springs, two and a half inch spindles, and then some brake hoses. So uh, I'll be busy these next two weekends for sure. Hopefully I'll have it in uh, by next weekend. So I can take it to the alignment shop, get it aligned, and quit wearing out these tires. All right guys, y'all have a good weekend.